Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm about to take you through my workout for the day. For today's workout, I'm using some weights. I'm going to use a barbell, a dumbbell, and a chair. If you don't have a barbell, you can substitute dumbbells or get creative and use something around your house that you can use to get some resistance. Focus on form for all of these exercises. I'm going to be going for reps today, but if you prefer to do it interval style, I'll have the breakout for that on my blog as well. So you can find everything you need to know about doing this workout at BenderFitness.com. So let's get started. In between each exercise today, we're going to do 10 burpees. And um, so we're going to get started with that. Uh, I have all of my equipment ready, so we're good to go. Okay, guys, core tight. We're going to squat down, plant both hands on the floor, jump your feet back, push up, jump and jump up. That's one. So go at your own pace. But be sure to try and challenge yourself with how quickly you're moving. Get your heart rate going. There we go, 10 burpees. Next, we're gonna go into Romanian deadlifts. So grab either your barbell or your dumbbells. For this exercise, feet go more than hip distance apart. Core stays tight. You have a slight bend in your legs. We're gonna drop the weight down, pushing our hips back. Squeeze through the glutes and hamstrings to lift. That's one. We're aiming for eight to 12 reps, depending on how heavy your weights are. Whatever you can get in with good form. Let's press back every time. I'm on 10, so I'm going for two more. Weight shifts into the heels as you press your hips back. Okay, back to burpees. Oops. Making a mess here, guys. Keep moving. If the push-ups become too intense, you could do it with a plank. That's eight, two more. Okay, next we have rows. So I'm gonna grab the dumbbells for this one, or you can use your barbell. Core stays tight, forward bend, back straight, knees stay bent. And we're gonna pull our weights up to the bottom of our rib cage. And back down, that's one. Keep that back flat. Again, going for eight to 12 reps. Core tight. Last one. Okay. Back to burpees. Try and move quickly between each exercise. if you're able to. Two 
two more. Okay, next we have squats. So again, you can grab barbell or dumbbells. We're gonna do a front squat. So weights come up, shoulder height, elbows lift, try and point them forward, core tight, hips press back. Try and get those thighs to parallel, hip pressing backward, squeeze through the glutes as you lift. One, two, three, keep those knees in place, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve. Back to burpees. <clears throat> Ten more. Next we have chair raises, so grab your chair. Core is going to stay tight. On my website I'll have some alternate variations for this move. But you're going to plant your hands and lift your butt. You can either do just the drop or you can do the leg extension. So we're going to go one, two, three, Rest for a second. Four, five, six. Keep that core tight. Seven. Shake it out. We're going to keep going. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, last set of burpees. And then one more exercise for this round. Here we go. for this round is a goblet squat. Grab a dumbbell. We're going to put our palms up to the ceiling and make a triangle with our hands holding the dumbbell. Feet are going to go more than hip distance apart. Toes pointed out at an angle. Hold that weight. We're going to drop our hips low and lift, squeezing through the backs of the thighs and the glutes. that chest lifted. Two 
two more. Okay. So guys, that is one round of our workout today. How many times you should repeat it? Any extra cardio I'm doing, everything you need to know will be on my blog, benderfitness.com. So I hope to see you guys there. Click like if you like the workout. Click subscribe if you like getting free workouts. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.